Hello and welcome to another Rubyology screencast. Today we're going to be covering looping logic. Uh, so whether you're building Ruby applications or Ruby on Rails applications, I believe you'll find these looping structures very uh, useful. So let's start off by uh, declaring or setting a variable equal to zero. We're going to use the i. Um, and we're going to start our first example with a while statement. So if we do a while i is less than, uh, let's do this looping 10 times. Um, all of these examples are going to end with a uh, an end. So if we do a, typically like we do with puts i, so we're going to print i to the screen and we're going to auto increment i. So um, if we do this, this is like uh, saying i equals i plus 1, you could write it both ways. So let's go ahead and run this example. And there we go. Remember Ruby is a base 0 language, so we've done this 10 times, 0 through 9. Okay, let's try something else. Rather than a while, we'll use an, um, uh, an until uh, thing here. So we'll say until i, and let's use the uh, equals condition, until i equals 10. Um, let's also go ahead and continue this loop and run this, see what this does. I don't know why I keep hitting that. I want to run. Sorry about that. There we go. So 0 through 9. Same results. Um, okay, let's try something else. Rather than a while or an, an until, let's actually just do a loop. We'll tell us this, this uh, application to loop, uh, which is basically indefinitely, do this loop. Um, so the only way to stop, so we don't uh, run in a loop forever, an endless loop, um, is to add a break command. So we'll say break if um, i is greater than 9. Um, so that's our, we'll keep to the, the 10. So let's run this here again. Yep, and there's our 0 through 9. So it hit the, um, the break uh, when i turned 10 and hopped out of our loop. Um, Another way of writing this break, uh, we could also use the unless here. So unless i will say is less than or equal to um, 9, let's also go ahead and loop with this different uh, break here. So there we go, same result, 0 through 9. Um, let's experiment with uh, a really cool object-oriented uh, feature of Ruby. So if we do 10 times, remember this handles, uh, this will iterate uh, 10 times and do, that basically creates another loop here around uh, 10 times. Um, since we have a, a finite set of uh, looping, we don't need the uh, break in there anymore. Um, so let's run this. Let's see what this does. There we go, 0 through 9 again, as we expected. So it's going to loop 10 times. You know, another interesting uh, feature of Ruby is uh, the way you can um, have it increment a, a variable. So if we do a pipe i here, then we allow the looping structure to increment i, rather than us having to do it um, in there uh, on our behalf. So let's go ahead and run this, see what this does. Yeah, as we expected, 0 through 9. So that's pretty handy. You'll see a lot of Rails examples uh, iterate through um, record sets from the controller in the view by uh, walking through the um, a variable in this type of a structure. Um, let me throw one more at you. Um, we could do a for. Let me do this. We can do a for. Um, i in and then we can declare um, a range do put i but we will also need um, uh, let's let's see this will actually walk through a loop like we did with the i and puts it to the screen let's see what this does there we go zero through nine like we expected so I hope you had fun with loops. Um, 
If you have other things like arrays or hashes, you can actually use the, the name of the array uh, dot length or dot size to iterate through uh, an array. Or a lot of times in, in Rails, you'll see um, uh, for, uh, say, user in users, which would be your at symbol users um, with a record set, um, start walking through that loop there as well, um, handling it record by record. So some very powerful looping uh, capabilities provided in Ruby. I hope you enjoyed this screencast. We'll uh, be back at you in another couple of days with another fun and interesting tip. Keep coding, screen monkeys.